Let's talk about how to make text changes to your website. I'm here in the editor and if I move my mouse over any text element on the site, you'll see that the icon changes. It looks like a clickable element or a button. If I now click on that text element, it brings up an editor and we can just highlight the text and edit it directly on the site. So I've highlighted that and let's just change this to and perfect. When you're done making a text edit, there's a little green checkbox here on the right, and if you just click this, it will close out of the editing menu. Let's click back into that text element, and you'll notice there's also style controls above. So we have the ability to change text to be bold, underline, italicized, colors, sizes, alignment, lots of settings here. Now, if your designer has pre-set up styles for text on the site, you may want to avoid making any drastic changes. It's important that text throughout the site is consistent to ensure it looks professional. If we do want to change one of the style settings, we can simply highlight a section of the text. We could go up to the color picker here and let's pick a new color. We'll do something like blue. Okay, that looks good. And now if we close the color picker, and click the green checkbox, you can see we've changed the color of the text. I'm not a big fan of that blue, I find it hard to read on this image. So remember we have an undo button here in the top right. Let's click undo. And we can even click it again to go back to our original headline before we changed it. All of the text elements on your site will work the same way. So if I continue to scroll down and I go to this paragraph, we can click into it make an edit as needed, click the green checkbox to close out, and we're done. If we want those changes live on the web, we just go up to our republish button, click that, and it's going to push them live.